Today we're making fro-nanas, which are frozen bananas. And they have peanut butter inside, and when you freeze them, they kind of taste like ice cream. So it's like banana ice cream with peanut butter. So you're going to take a banana and peel it. You're just gonna start. You cut the end off. Let's do it like this. And you're gonna cut them pretty thick. Because when you freeze them, you want them to not be all thin so that they like collapse. And you want there to be an even number. So when you cut them, you can cut them smaller like this. Or if they're really, really big. See, the banana was like this, going like this. Do, 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 do. And it makes really yummy sandwiches. So, for some of them that aren't super thick, I'm going to take two. I'm going to take two little spoons. The smaller, the better. I'm going to take a tiny bit. Stick it on one. And with the other one, just push it off. And it does just make a glob there. Like that. And then, stick the other one right on top, and it smushes it down and spreads it out for you. So this is the peanut butter. Now, you take two more, you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So, now, I have my two rows of just banana, two rows, actually I have four rows of peanut butter, although two of them are going to be with chocolate on top, and two of them are going to be just peanut butter sandwiches. So. If you want to keep them like this and have it be more healthy, that's awesome. And just freeze them like that, and they're still really good. But if you want a little more sweetness, you can take some bittersweet chocolate. And we're going to melt it and mix it until it's like really smooth. Okay, so after you're done melting it, and we put it in the microwave for 15 seconds at a time, and between each 15 seconds, we always stir it because sometimes. If you melt it, the chocolate chips are about to become into this, and they just stay hardened. So you got to keep mixing it until it's really smooth, like this. And you really need your parents' help with the microwave sometimes, because it's really hot when you take it out, and it's still warm. But so you're going to pick your row, your two rows, and I'm going to pick these, because we want these for the sandwiches. You're going to take just a little bit, and take one and just drizzle it. You don't want to dump all of it on. Just drizzle until there's nothing like this. And then I'm just going to spread it over the top like that. Take a little bit. Drizzle. Okay, so I finished my peanut butter, now I'm moving on to the plain old banana. And sometimes you can, if you like it kind of like a little cap, you go like this and, some, and let it like ooze down the sides. Okay, well now that we've done them all, we're going to freeze them and we'll see you when they're frozen. Hi, welcome back. So, we froze them yesterday and now they're ready and even though, um, They've been in there for a long time. That doesn't mean that they'll be like rocks and you can't bite them, because they're bananas. If like and the chocolate too, if you like touch it, it will it won't be rock hard anymore. So we have all of them. See how the chocolate is kind of there's some frost on it almost. And the pan's really cold, but everything's frozen. So now I'm gonna have my taste tester. Come on in. Come on. Do you need it? So which one do you want to try first? Chocolate, peanut butter, banana, or peanut butter, banana, chocolate? Peanut butter, banana, chocolate. Okay, we'll go ahead that one. We both have one of the teeth. Come on, have it with
take smaller bites. <laughs> We're gonna eat them all before our parents get in. <laughs> she doesn't listen. Oh, she's so these are awesome. I hope they turn out good for you.